Well, howdy, folks. Welcome to episode 46 of Do Not Worry. I am your host, Anthony, coming to you once again from the heart of Beirut in Jaitir for this very special episode, joined by my intern, Elijah. How's it? Oh, wait, you're not Elijah. This is Joseph Shada. How's it going? Ça va. Ça va? You doing okay? Well, folks, we have a special episode tonight, joined by Joseph Shada. Before we get going, we're going to... I'm going to interview Joseph really quickly. We're going to, we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to catch up. It's been a while. We're going to talk about the, the Shada documentary, all of that stuff. But before we get into it, this special Shadalicious episode, uh, please take a second to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, become a Do Not Warrior, help us get to 6,000 subscribers. Uh, we need your support, folks. We love you. Uh, Patreon, let me th- take a second to thank folks. We got a bunch of new patrons this week, a bunch of new abductee patrons like Abdo Kesirwene, Malik Bizri, and Nada Zmitter, thank you so much for joining our Patreon and becoming patrons. Uh, we got some new blonde patrons, the Network LB, the awesome folks who got me these, like the awesome fucking Sennheiser headphones. Um, Antonio Jmeil and Fabian Abu Musa, thank you. And brand new superhero patron, Saad Mnemne, thank you guys so much, seriously, for, for supporting the channel. You guys are the reason why I can hire interns and why the show can keep going. So bless you guys. Uh, we love you very much. If you would like to support this channel, uh, consider joining and subscribing our Patreon. The link is in the description. We would really, really appreciate your help. Again, we really can't do any of this without you guys. So thank you very much and much love to all of our new patrons and returning patrons. Thank you guys. Uh, also, we have a Discord. So the link is in the description. If you want to join our Discord, take a second to click on that. And follow me on Instagram, finally, at Anthony Sargon. Help your boy uh, keep his 7,000 subs or so. I, 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 I lose... Uh, followers like every day if I don't post something it's so weird I hate that's why I hate Instagram and I hate social media the pressure it builds on people but anyways enough about me and enough about this channel uh, let's get into the interview Joseph but before uh, I know last week I asked you guys if you wanted me to have Joseph on and a couple of you guys in the comments were like no we've already had Joseph a bunch of times like us there's not there's nothing new to cover what else are you guys going to talk about to those people let me just explain why I wanted to have Joseph Shada on uh, when we released the documentary I traveled, I went to the States, so I never really had a chance to like do a premiere. Joseph and I really wanted to do like a physical premiere or like some kind of screening where we can get with a bunch of you guys, fans, and watch the movie together and then do like a Q&A afterwards. Uh, but I had to travel even before we released the movie. When we released the documentary, I was already in the States on vacation. Uh, and, you know, when I came back, there was a lot of COVID, there was Omicron, and we felt like an Atta Shahid, it was a bit too late for us to do like a physical event and talk about the movie. So I figured I would just like, if I could get Joseph on the show and we could talk about this stuff here, uh, that could be cool. So Joseph, Kifak, how's it going? Mesh al hal. You good? Hal gaybet tawile hek. Shuf sar kaza ashia. Shtatle? Eh, ktir shtatle. Try to be normal, but if I'm alik, but don't be. I want to understand. I don't want you to be cryptic. And is a sad question, but if I'm a jawab, is a eh or not? Shtatle. Don't say. شو أصدق يعني إيش تأني لك شو لما؟ خي ما بعرف. أنت بتضحك و you do the smile. I don't know if you're being serious or not. طيب. Let's start with the first question. Quick answers. It's not going to be an in-depth interview. ولا شيء. Uh, are you happy with the documentary overall? What are your thoughts? انبسطت فيه الفيلم. كان مثل ما توقعنا تقريبا. وانبسطت بالpositive feedback كنت متوقع إنه يكون في نيجاتيف أكثر بس لا فعلا يعني كان نسبة كبيرة حبوا. قد ايه النسبة يعني نقول فوق 90% يعني. And if we're just judging on YouTube comments, yeah, I would say like easily 95% were very positive. They were very surprised. I think everyone expected just a bunch of bullshit, which you know, there was a lot of bullshit in the documentary. But mm. maybe it hit a little bit harder. It was maybe a bit more emotional than they were expecting. So maybe. Maybe you can think about it. And the nice thing is that they followed to the end. I was like... بقول مين بده يقعد يحضرني ساعة ونص انه يا انا كمان هيك فكرت اكيد من رح يحضر شادا ساعة ونص بس انه ايه كان بدهم اياه يخلص يعني عم بيقولوا لك هيك كمان يا يلا جود جود طب سو مبسوط فيه يو هابي وذ ات نو ريجريتس انه خلص اللي صار صار هلا طب اوكي واتس يور فيفرت سين شو اي مشهد از يور فيفرت بالدوكيومنتري المشهد مع ستة كان حلو هذا حبيته كلهم حبوا اول ذا فانز لاف ات ما بعرف هيك Like your grandmother, the MVP of the documentary. We all loved it and all the comments. Special guest. Yeah, la, everyone loved her. So your grandma, t- what's your least favorite scene? Do you see something you wish you didn't see in the documentary? The ASMR, for example. How did you see the TikTok? 
المشاكل ما لهم عازة انه هاو دي منهم they don't define me يعني منهم عني انا they don't define you but you know they're an important part of your journey I didn't want to ignore them you know what I mean mm. okay cool like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, it makes me happy to hear that انه انت مبسوط فيه للبروجكت Do you feel the documentary saadatak in any way did it help you uh, yani, for example khafshi bullying من بعد documentary do you feel people understand you a bit more so there's a bit less bullying online saadatak bil shahra or more people recognizing you shi'a tari fi nas ajo a'tazaru minni wa qalu anu ma kunna ma'rif annak wa sarna na'afak ahsan wa fi nas amlu li follow celebrities yani bi hayati ma kunt batwaqa anu celebrities ma'u fiya yani min wara documentary حكي يوك شي عن الدوكيومنتري انه حاطين كومنتس وعاملين لي فولو هيك يعني ليش مين اي سيليبريتيز هلا بلا ما نسمي انه في انا بدي انا انت بتعرفهم يعني بس انا نو سيليبريتيز فولو مي بيكوز اوف ذا دوكيومنتري اه كمان لا انه انا ما حدا اي دنت جيت انا ما استفدت بحس من شي في الدوكيومنتري لا هن اوريدي يمكن كانوا بيعرفوك في جينو في عصام مرعب اه اوكي اوكي اوسم Okay, but when you said celebrity, I forget it, Gino. But okay, I'm a Gino's Gino. You know, he's a boy. I'm for me, all the person verified, yeah, is celebrity. Okay, okay, fair enough. Like Gino's a patron, yeah. Gino, Masajid, he's a blonde patron, and we were we're fans of Gino. Thank you, Gino. He's controversial, but uh, he's our boy, yeah. Did the documentary help you? Bil mehnet mehnet the temsil, eje lak acting offers, or she. اجي لك رولز مرتبة هيك بشي برنامج من ورا الدوكيومنتري لا بعد لا مش مش يلا ما حق ما لك لا انه هيك لا هو لو انتشر اكثر كان ممكن يعني بس يعني اون سمول شانل فهذا اللي صار اون سمول شانل انت دو يو ريلي ثينك اي ونت جوزيف ريلي وود اسك مي اف لايك اسكت مي تو تراي اند سيل ذا دوكيومنتري تو نتفليكس اي ام نوت ايفن كيدنج ليفلي وان دو يو ريلي ثينك نتفليكس وود اف بات ذس دوكيومنتري اللي بكل جديه هلا ما بعتقد ما بعرف بس انه كان فيك تجرب على القليله تعرضوا على شيء قبل اليوتيوب مش انه تكبوا على يوتيوب اي ونت ما تقول كبوا على يوتيوب كانه لايك مسبب انا اي هاف ا يوتيوب شانل اي لاف يوتيوب تو مي اتس ا جريت بلاتفورم بلاكس واز اوسم انا ان ماي مايند ذات وي وير ايبل تو جيف تو بروفايد فيلم ساعة ونص ببلش to your fans حلو ايه العالم العالم ما ما تتسجل ب any streaming services يعني صراحة most of them are young kids your fans على تيك توك حبيت انه الاكثرية يحضروه على التي في او على اللابتوب انه مثل كانه نتفلكس يعني هي إيه. زيتا <تصفيق> بس انه اكيد يعني I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you that I couldn't لا, sell your documentary to Netflix جوزيف هيدا علي ثاني مرة ثاني واحد تو شادا تو فيوريوس رح يكون على Netflix انا عم لك من هلا There's a video انت كان في من من كم يوم تيك توك لايف شايفك في ايلايجا كبسنا فيه بدي بس تعال نحضر شوي منه وبديك شوي تفسر لي شو صار بالرياكشن تبعك هون ما هلا حكينا بالموضوع وهن طيب هلا بقول لك شو تحكي تحكي على الكاميرا سو هن يو هاد ا كابل اوف بوليز اون ذير ذا تو جايز انه حسيت انا لقيتهم كثير سالوا وعم يتمنكوا هيك ان ماي اوبينيون اف يو كان تركت الانستغرام التيك توك لايف انت يو ستيد ذير وذن بلشت تعمل اصوات Sexual. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why were you doing that? That's what I'm saying. Why was that your response? Or did you get nervous? I don't know what you're doing. It got awkward. You're like, fuck it, let me make these weird sexual noises. And when I want to get out of the answer or something, I'm going to do something to make them laugh and shut their attention to something else. But the people who are in the video are very angry with you, I think. Bro, I don't give a fuck what they have to say. ولا اسطل من هيك يعني ما في لزوم يزعلوا ولا شيء هن لازم يستحوا عن ذير يو نو بيهيفير اون لاين يو نو شيء بيخري هو ايفر ذا فاك يو جايز ار ايه بس انفهموا غلط يعني ما مش مش بيقصدهم هيك يعني ما ما بدافع عنهم يو هاف نو ريزن ذي ار بينج ديكس اند اسهولز تو يو شو بدك فيهم انت ما مثل ما قلت له بدي تعميك خري بتمك او ريفر لا استفزني كثير بيستفزني هذا بس انه هو هيز دوينج ا كاركتر وعمره 26 يعني منه عمره 26 ايه هذا توست بس انه خلص هو ما تعيدهم دول سكشوال نويزز ما تعملهم ات وزنت فاني ات وز ويرد كل مالك بمحبه انا بقول لك محبه يا جوزيف انا بحبك بدي اهتم فيك اوكي هيدا هيدا سؤال فان اكشلي بعثت لنا اياها من كم حلقه يو هاف تو هاف سكس وذ ون اوف ذيس بيبل ماري ون اوف ذيس بيبل اند كيل ون اوف ذيس بيبل فك تشاك اند ماري مين بتتجوز بين دكتور فود دادي فودي ونو غارليك نو اونيون بدك تتجوز واحد هاف سكس وذ ون وواحد تكبه بزباله إذا بدك أنا بجاوب بالأول سو so ذات uh, ما بتحس حالك غلط أنا دكتور فود بكبه بزبالة نو أوفنس دكتور فود مسيو جورج 
Uh, Daddy Foodie, I would have sex with him because he looks like a wild animal in bed. He's sexual. He looks weird. At least we would have fun in bed. No garlic, no onion, but Joe was and He looks boring. He's already blocked me on Instagram, so I can already see our married life when I'm talking about It's like a real married couple. And who's your okay. favorite, Ben? Uh, Zaytashi. Zaytashi? Uh, That's a cop out answer. Should I be cryptocurrencies or NFTs? هني هودي المستقبل لازم واحد يبلش يشتغل فيهم من هلا ما في مهرب يعني يو دونت ثينك اتس ا سكام نو اتس نوت ا سكام اتس ذا فيوتشر بس واي كيف ال... كيف الانترنت من 20 سنه و30 سنه قالوا انه شو هيدي وهيدا كانت وقتها انه لايك فكره وهلا اليوم صارت كل شيء بحياتنا فهيدا كمان هلا يمكن الفكره غريبه بس بعدين رح تصير شيء عادي نستعمله وين ما كان بس انه واحد ما يستثمر بشيء ما بيقدر يخسره بيرسونلي اي ثينك اتس ا سكام Uh, I think it's like gambling. So if you're putting money into NFTs, you have an equal chance of losing your money. You should only do it if you know that you're gambling. Um, we can talk about that in a future episode. I can give you guys an example of the comic book industry that crashed in the 90s because of a speculative bubble. And I'm not, I'm not a finance expert, but I know comic books. And I sell comic books. I've been selling comic books for like eight years. My industry had a huge crash in the 90s. I could talk to you guys about that. On another episode, if you're interested, let me know in the comments. One final question. Are you currently dating anyone? Is the Shada single, ready to mingle, or is the Shada taken? We're taking so long to answer, but it's a simple question. Shoo. Oh, you don't want to talk about this? This is the last question, so you have to answer. I'm um, okay. Yes, I am. Oh, oh yes, you yes, must okay, yes, uh, Fucking be, be an alpha male, don't be beta. Uh, uh, yes. Mm. Are you dating anyone? Yes, I am. All right, fuck yeah. Uh, now let's move on. We have a bunch of topics for you guys. We're going to be talking about uh, the Dr. Food Lemonade ad. We're talking about the ABC controversy, high, firing Muslims, and they don't want no Muslims working there. Uh, the Wooden Bakery ad. Tufi Luke has gotten himself in a couple of controversies uh, and a bunch more. So, uh, Yalla. Okay, so our first topic uh, is going to be Dr. Food's lemonade ad. Hey, everyone sent it to me on Instagram. And I, I wanted to bring this up. I forgot to mention this in the interview. You did a TikTok live with Dr. Food. And when I asked you, who would you fuck, check, or marry? You um, asked Dr. Food in the first place. Aren't you fans? Aren't you a friend of Dr. Food? We are friends, but the work that I've done for a long time انه ما بتنتسى بس انه ان شاء الله تكون عملها مثل ما هو قال انه ات واز فور اويرنس وهيك يعني طيب أه انت حضرت هيدي الدعايه تبع الليمونيد؟ ايه تبع ايه ايه طيب ليتس تشيك ات اوت توجذر اوف الهارت اتاك انا وات اي فاوند ويرد انه ما كان في ساوند تراك ذا ليدي از بريتي اتراكتيف اهلا اهلا يا دكتور فود سلامته سلامته اي لاف كيف مصورينا هيك يعني فيرتيكال كانه انستغرامز يعني يعني ذس جاي هاز مليونز اوف فولورز على على تيك توك وانستغرام وميليونز وهندرز اوف ثاوزندز اوف فيوز وذس از ذا افورت يعني ذس فيديو ذس ابيسود ذات وي بوتينج توجذر حبيبي يعني نحن ذس ابيسود ذات وي بوتينج توجذر هلا عم بياخذ لنا شي ثلاث ايام شغل يعني بين البريب التصوير الايديتنج اول اوف ذات ذس اي ثينك توك ذيم 10 مينتس اند ات كوست لايك شي 20000 ليره ذس از ذس از ذا كوست اوف ذات فيديو يعني ما عم بفهم يعني But it goes viral. Yeah, and we're talking about it. People were sharing it everywhere because of how shitty it was. Ooh, that in itself is marketing. Tamil shi ktiir ma'ayar. You know what I mean? What do you guys think about that? Go ahead, Joseph. Hala, but in respect to the story of the ambulance, how they came in, or that, I mean, how many? You liked it? The idea, hala, the idea is nice. He was maybe in his head, he was better. But when you get to apply it, it gets cringe. Like as shitty as the video is, I think this is genius for TikTok. This is what TikTok, tic- but this is what people on TikTok want to watch. You're, it's effective marketing. It's very effective. He knows what he's doing. That's the thing. And we, we, oh, it's so shitty. It's not like he doesn't know it's shitty. He knows it's garbage. And that's why they're putting it out. It's cheap to make. 
it'll get the conversation going. So, Inta Joseph, would you be proud Inta Kuhn to star in a video like that? Oh, Inta, is Inta, if you had to do sponsorship with Limonade Shaheen, can you do it like that or is it better? I would like to put a budget on the cameras or the way of the video. هيك شوي احسن مو عارف طيب بالنهايه دعايه هي بس انه انه بالنهايه راح فايرل يعني صار عندهم دعايه لو بطريقه كريمه كان اي سي بعد شغله ذس از ا جود فيديو فور دكتور فود بس اتس ا باد فيديو فور ذا براند بيكوز شيتي برودكشن از ايكوال تو شيتي براند بيسكلي هلا ليك البراند المحل از فير تايني ليتل لايك ليمونات شاهين ما بفتكر بدي استاهل البراند نيم ناو اي دو ليمونات شاهين When you watched it first, did you, did you remember it? No, no, this, is only, the, this is only the second time I see it, to be fair. But now I'll never forget Limonad Shaheen. Okay, so over the past couple of days, there was a massive controversy. It blew up on Twitter. It blew up on all social media uh, involving ABC, uh, the mall ABC, and basically like a policy that they have. So according to Megaphone News, uh, in a new step in discriminating against women in the workplace, ABC Ashrafiye rejected the presence of a veiled saleswoman inside the mall. Full House Home Appliances announced today its withdrawal from ABC after the mall's management requested that one of the company's employees be replaced because she was wearing a headscarf. ABC responded that it is a non-sectarian entity that respects all religions within the mall, but that, it is in, but that its internal policy prohibits any public religious displays, symbols, and accessories among employees and salespeople. Here is a photo, I guess, of the woman. Uh, And this is the uh, sort of the statement made by Full House. Uh, we have sadly been asked recently to replace the working lady at our stand in Abisai Shafiye because she wears a headscarf, which is against their policy. What a shameful and sickening statement to hear. And for them to find it so easy to say, we were shocked. We obviously stand against discrimination in all its forms. So we refused to do so. And instead, we took down our pop-up shop. Uh, I agree with them, sir, to be honest with you. And then just let me read Abyss's response. I'm not sure who they're replying to, um, but you know, this was something that, that's made the rounds. Hello, Abyss is a non-sectarian entity that welcomes, all res- that welcomes and respects all religions in the mall. The ban doesn't discriminate against any religion and our policy accepts all tenants regardless of their religious beliefs. However, our internal policy, which forbids all religious public displays and symbolic items accessories, is communicated very clearly and is accepted by all Abyss employees tenants and pop-up shops. ABC was trending on Twitter, Kita uh, Kata ABC, I guess, which means boycott ABC. This is a complicated issue. I, I, for some, for me, it's pretty black and white. This is discriminatory. This is certainly racist. Uh, there's a difference between a Christian lady who can wear a tiny little cross and who can hide it easily or who can wear a little bracelet that you would never even see versus a woman whose religion might demand of her to put a headscarf and how is she going to hide the headscarf you can't expect a, a, a devout muslim woman who wants to wear the headscarf she has no choice so you're basically closing off the mall to any devout muslim woman from working there i find that weird okay you, you're not allowing christians to wear crosses who's enforcing that policy first of all yani mean chef muzaf la bisay labis salib wahad anda wa yi lesh fi wahad masih wa labis This is a pure discrimi- discriminatory policy, m- probably maybe to appease the uh, public, the, the customer base, maybe based on other studies or their market research or whatever, that their customers are higher class or Christian. What the fuck is all that about? You know what I mean? I'm, that makes no sense. And by the way, people started to tweet about it. There's this tweet that I found very eye opening, which I honestly never even noticed, which could speak to like my own my body. Like, uh, so Walid uh, M. Rihan sent out this tweet and said, ABC is not the first firm to refrain from hiring veiled women. Virgin Megastores and Liberie Antoine were the first to do so. Mention more if you know any. Expose all the discriminating companies. To be honest, I never even noticed that Virgin... I've been going to Virgin Megastore and Liberie Antoine for years. I fucking used to love going to Virgin. Like, buy my video games, all that sort of shit. I used to buy it from there. Uh, I never even noticed. Maybe I fucked up because maybe like it's some form of like internalized racism that I have that, that I never noticed that they never had any veiled women. Even Ibri Antoine, I never noticed. But now that I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I've never seen anyone veiled working at these places. So it is very fucked up. I really do think that they should rethink their policy and to just casually be like, we're not... Like, fucking hal in France laik. You live in fucking Lebanon where 65% of the Shab Muslim, if not more. Yani. What the fuck is this? I find that really weird. Uh, what do you guys think about this topic? Is it overblown? Do you agree with the controversy? 
انتم مع الابي سي ضد الابي سي يعني شيء عيب اللي عم بيصير انه واحد بس يروح ليشتري في مرة عم تشتغل شو بيهمك اذا محجبة او مش محجبة المهم تكون منيحة معك وتكون عم تشتغل شغلة مزبوط ايمان هاو يا شابة Can I say something regarding she's well off topic when I used to work in IHT mm-hmm. back then the uh, boutique Tonic with Gucci like everything like branded can usually people from Italy مسؤولين على البوتيكات they used to like in us, well, مين مسؤول عنهم, how they look, well, and in us mean مسؤول عنهم how they look وكل شيء and in their policies you know but some veiled women it's not allowed فحتى اجبار كانوا يطبقوا in IHT which is in Lebanon so maybe and I say حتى في بوتيكات that don't allow this but back then you know the can't the, the, the boutique sector they were with it so it doesn't make sense here mm-hmm. so yeah I'm with you I think it's very discriminatory and yeah uh we like this happens this happens in the states if you guys know the brand Abercrombie and Fitch Michigan, a few years ago they got into a lot of trouble because in the Marufin they used only used to hire like very attractive model looking people sometimes can wait phone but at the the guy is shirtless just basically a bunch of dudes standing shirtless outside of a store to entice people to come in they had a policy you know they only hired very attractive very fit people and they had a policy not to hire a veiled women with that once that became a huge like controversy in the states the stock staba abercrombie and fitch like dropped significantly with then brands like hell i was recently in the states uh on vacation for a month i went to hollister i didn't buy anything from hollister i just wanted to see if they had any hats there was a veiled woman working at hollister which is a brand like abercrombie and fitch that never hired the veiled women so i was very pleasantly surprised and i was super excited when i saw A young veiled girl working at Hollister. I'm like, fuck yeah, hell yeah, baby. Do you guys have any hats? She's like, no. I'm like, all right. Then I left the shop. Best yeah. If in the states, Hollister, Abercrombie and Fitch, Sutter, they're hiring uh, veiled women. You can hire people. Hala, please let me know about other malls. Did you guys ever find out if uh, Le Mall Dubai or other malls? Hala, the Abbas said the entirety. It's one policy, so I keep Dubai Dubai coming here for Le Mall. I have no idea. And I've been to city center, Bil Hazmiye. I know for a fact they. And I remember they they had veiled women there. I remember buying donuts from the Dunkin' Donuts last time, and there was a veiled woman. So I'm pretty sure that's not a thing there. But please let me know in the comments if there's any other business that does this Lebanon, so we can call them out because this is super fucked up. And we're, if we're trying to get better as a country, and we gotta allow women to and don't discriminate. Kishi religion. Let people worship the way they want to worship. I'm, not, I'm personally not religious. I don't believe in any of that stuff. But let people just do what they want as long as it's not hurting anyone else. That's kind of where I stand. Uh, there's a bunch of crazy tweets that we can look at. Some tweets for and some tweets against what Abbas said. This is this person, Marie Lina Hrewi. كل الدعم للأبسة ولكل شركة خاصة عندها قوانينها الخاصة بعدها مباثرة بعدها مثابرة ومستمرة بلبنان. Okay, I. يعني why are you? يعني ليش هالقد دعم للأبسة ما عم بفهم. Walid, oh, that, that's the um, that's the guy who also mentioned the Virgin. Uh, discriminating women based on what they choose to wear is the most disgusting act someone could do. Abyssi is a disgusting corporation. Tfeh. Another tweet by Asya Husseini. Idarat al Abyssi Lebanon talabat min ahad al sharikat tarid muwadhafa liyana muhajaba. Kato al Abyssi Lebanon al mutakhalifin wal ansuriyin. Shada, rina, rina hayde. Min layan. Layan, disgusting Abyssi Lebanon. Your malls are terrible. offer nothing in terms of services and shops especially the Ashrafi branch and on top of on top of that uh, you have racist policies Wait. while we in america celebrate world hijab day abc ashrafi lebanon fires women who wear it it's time to learn how to be inclusive and stop living in the dark ages Hells yeah. Now, Elijah, you mentioned something uh, about like a, certain hospitals in that have like an inverse policy. Where yeah, they... there's a tweet for that, I think, in the folder. Yalla. Yeah, so basically, this, this is, like, if I'm not mistaken, a journalist who was talking on, on Al Jadid. We can't play this for copyright reasons. So, so you can find it on Twitter. So it's about like five or six hospitals in Beirut till today. This is very recent. Uh, They go, see, if you want to work there as a nurse, as a doctor, uh, when, uh, with the female gender, of course, you'd have to have a veil on. And it's a, a very strict policy. So, yeah. so even if you're not Muslim, you have to have a veil yeah. on. Yeah. And the, the reporter mentioned, and if you respect your own religion, which is Islam, you wouldn't want people wearing hijab as an accessory. Mm-hmm. Because that's just an insult for the religion. So, yeah. Shadda, what do you think about that, Tayyid al-Ussa? Everything has a or
We have to code this. <laughs> Shada for president. Shada for president. Uh, I agree. Uh, and I think, yeah, that's super fucked up equally. Yani. Um, if someone's not Muslim, you need to wear a veil. Hala, if it's... If because they're like worried, if they don't want Muslim men to see non but what if a Christian patient goes to the hospital? It's a sorry, stupid policy. Get rid of it. People who want to wear the veil, wear the veil. You don't want to wear the veil, don't wear the veil. Hey, it's all good. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> this next topic, folks, Tufiluk. You guys know Tufiluk is an old, and we've talked about Tufiluk a lot on the show. We were one of the first shows in the Middle East to expose him for the asshole he really is. And uh, he, I mean, he, he kind of like did like the biggest self-own these past couple of days. So yesterday, a great Instagram page that I like very much, Lebanese Cringe, who honestly made our job a lot easier. It's doing the work that my interns were supposed to do, which is finding new fresh cringe. I don't need you guys anymore. Lebanese Cringe will do it for me. Um, so they kind of like, like Laato to Filuk in like a very blatant lie. He tried to pretend that like he went out on a date with this like Ukrainian girl, but she hated Lebanese food. So Taraka, because of that, it's all a bunch of shit. So let us watch his series of stories. بس امبارح يلي قطع قدام عيوني بحياتي مني شايفه I did not see I did once see, see يعني تعرفت على بنت من رومانيا من بوكارست تعرفنا على بار مش من زمان اخذت رقم مزا مزا وعلى اساس رايحين نديت امبارح وهي ما قيت تقول لي I want to taste Lebanese food وبليز اخدني على Lebanese food وكل أصحابي بيقولوا لي إنه الأكل اللبناني بيطير العقل قلت لا تكرم عيونك يا حبيبتي ما أنت معي أنا إيراس لبنان يا أخت من زحلي لحفا جيك الأصب الني الطيبة والكب الني الطيبة وتعالي معي وأنا بيردك على Lebanese food الآه ما شفته بس يعني أول ما وصلنا قعدناها بلشنا نتلت مهضومة ما أشبشي يعني فرام رومانيا شو بدي أحكيها قلت لها أنا فرام زحلي وهي فرام بوكارس وقال لها ها 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 I love بوكارس بحياتي ما ندعي عيس رومانيا كلا على بعض وقال لها إيه Sorry بس Adib had date, yeah, and imagine being on a fucking date with Tufiluk at a restaurant and he's fucking screaming in your face وعم بينكي تو إيه وأنا من زحلي وإيه Like oh my fucking god bro Sorry, okay زادور اي لاف تقلي شو بدك تطلب قلت لها طاولة بيدك صبري على حبيبتي صبري خدي وقت انا بطلب جبنا مثل العادة الحمص الفتوش جبنا فتة بتنجين شو حطينا جبنا سيخين ششتاووق سيخين ششتاووق بس شيب فاك جبنا راس كبي مع لبن لهلا كل شيء تمام لهلا واكيد الاكل بيطير العقل الاكل بيطير العقل فصي اول ما وصل ريحته بيطير العقل بس كمان نوتس اديش عم بفوت بديتيلز انه ذس از ا فيري ديتيلد ستوري ساوندز فيري ليجيت دازنت ات ساوندز ريل كل هالديتايات وطلبنا وعملنا واخذتها ورحنا وجبنا وقلنا و... يا ماما وصلت الحمص وصل الاكل يعني بجميعا تقول لي وات از ذس قلت لها حمص قالت لي اي دونت اندرستاند قلت لها شيك بيز شيك بيز مطحون يا اختي يو ايت ات وذ بريد لايك ذيس اخذنا الخبزايه فرجيتها بتحط الخبزايه وبتاكليها اخذت الخبزايه حطت الحمص حطتها بتمها قلب وجها قلب وجها قلب وجها وجهة استفراغ قلب وجها وقالت لي اي دونت لايك Oh my god. His followers enjoy this shit content. I'm not sure. There's definitely an element of hate watching. People watch it because they want to hate him. It's like, uh, it's, this, it's this opposite type of ASMR where instead of soothing you, it drives you insane. But it's like this. Morbid curiosity, kind of. You know what I mean? Mara, I let le. I don't like. I call it the flesh. I let le. What is this? It doesn't taste good. I tell the whole time. Nobody is listening to Romania. To Obrine. Nobody is listening to the Roman food. Come on, you are going to laugh at the food of Lebanon. What you don't like? I don't like you, Habibte. 
Okay, I'm like, who gives a fuck, bro? I'm happy to have hummus. You feel insecure, and خلاص she she needs كبة عز كبة بزبيلة للبنت لأنه ما حبيت الحمص وما حبيت المتبل. It's fucking okay, bro. Yeah, I fucking hate Lebanese people. You need to love. You need to love Lebanon. You need to love shawarma. Or else, who gives a fuck, bro? She didn't like the fucking food. She بهدلت رومانيا كلها لأنه ما حبيت الأكل. تطلع مبارح بدو قد يطلع على حساب كله قاعد عم تتلقمن على وجه. أكلت سخين شتوقت لك الترخيك أكلت الدجاجات يعني بعد نايس. I don't know what the fuck he's sharing. Let's check this out. It's like photos and stuff like research that he was doing about Romanian food. What? Okay, so here's a message that she sent him. Hi, Tufi. I wanted to say thank you for yesterday night. Even if the food was not to my taste, I enjoyed your company. Next time, I'll take you to my favorite Romanian restaurant. Hi, Alex. I enjoyed my hummus yesterday and the food was delicious. Maybe you should try Lebanese food again. When you start liking it, hit me up. Thanks. So he basically dumped her. She's thanking him for the lovely date. Be battle message. You didn't like the hummus? Goodbye. Talk to me later. He dumped her because she didn't like the food, supposedly. Jamia, ما صار شيء. نحنا بعدنا عم نحكي وعاد. كنت وزع جوك ودحكت لي بعتت لي ها 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 ها. ما بدها هالقد. وقررت لحروح على المطعم الروماني معه. بس كل ما حط عمين لقم من الأكل الروماني. حقلا what is this? حتقلي شو هو حقلا I don't like. What is this? I don't like. What is this? I don't like. كنت لين هار ابعت له نفس المسج إنه كتير المصادر تمبيري بس ما حبيت الأكل وبحبك. Anyways, so now there's more to the story. So Lebanese cringe shared this photo exposing Tufiluk again. So he's been having a mental breakdown all day over an alleged Romanian girl he went on an alleged date with last night. He took her to a Lebanese restaurant. Bottom line, the girl allegedly didn't like Lebanese food, and he wasn't okay with it. I won't share the whole obnoxious rant. You can check it out, but here's a snippet. We just shared the whole thing, because we're assholes like that. Lebanese Cringe then shared this photo. He said, I'm sure you guys noticed a lot of alleged, who allegedly, in my first story. Guess why? Yep, because he made up the whole story, made up the date, the incident, and obviously the girl. So this is the profile picture of the girl that he had on her WhatsApp. But like, Jeba means she Google or something. He just Googled Romanian girl and he put the first. So he created a whole fake WhatsApp conversation. He a fake profile on WhatsApp. He made a whole fake WhatsApp conversation just to pretend that he went on a date. Then Lebanese Cringe shows off this DM exchange between them and Tufiluk. Uh, Tufiluk says yes, and I said that Defo will not put the real profile. Yani, thanks for the free shout out. Said it where exactly? On my story, you blacked out the name, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't want to black out the face pic. People will really think it was a fake convo, whatever though. Loved my story, fictitious or not, I love it. This is obviously a fake bullshit story. Then Tufiluk shares that the profile pic is photoshopped. Ya jama'a, akhatta min Google. You just got caught, motherfucker. Now, what did you guys want to say about the story first? هلا كنت بدي اوضح هالشغله كمان انه هو اعترف انه الصوره فيك مأخوذه من بس اعترف بعد ما فتحوه بس التشات ما بعرف اذا كمان فيك ولا شيء اوبفيسلي اتس فيك راح عليه مع ديت والتشات كله بس فيه هالتو مسجز Yeah, so this date is obviously fake as fuck. Now, I don't know why Tufiluk would go to these lengths to, like, is it maybe? Look, he's, there's always been controversies and questions surrounding his sexuality. Is he? Is he not? I don't care. It's none of my business and it's none of your business as well. I just don't see why he has to go pretend to go on dates with women. Like, bro, you don't need to do that, man. People will love you and accept you for who you are. Uh, I don't love you, but I'll accept you for who you are. Um, I don't think this is necessary. It, it, it is none of my business. I don't want to step out of line. But like, this just seems weird to me. And like, this seems counterintuitive. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't be out there lying about going on dates, man. It hurts certain causes, in my opinion. I don't know. It's just... Just be yourself, man. If you went on a date, share the real date. You don't need to be making shit up, especially for comedy, because this shit ain't funny. You know what I mean? Fucking stand up for what you believe in, man, and stop being such a little bitch about it. Shad, enta, you met Tufiluk man zaman bi bilabisa shafi sawarto video ma baad. You're not friends or anything, but no. What do you th- are you a fan? But hab Tufiluk, but hab the content tabao. Shifto bil hazmiye wat al ija amal meet and greet man zaman. Mhm. Kanu mentaj. U kan baadu wat ta mash kthir maaruf. كان بعده ببداياته انا قلت له انه حتوصل يعني انه شفت فيه بوتنشل وفعلا مثل ما سو يو ار فان يعني بتحب شغله؟ وصل ايه انه بحب كيف عنده هالاصرار وبحط شيء براسه وبيعمله so, انت مهم الواحد يوصل كيف بيوصل دازنت فاكر <تصفيق> لا 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 اكيد لا ذيس جايز ار ديك اول ذيس بيبل فور فيم يعني بتذكر انا وقت كنت بالجامعه ماي فان كانت شي فولو تو فيلو شي از سوتش ا فان اوف هيرز Can turn to his uh, in stories of roasting a random person, and she used to laugh her ass off. I was like, "What the fuck, Shalla?" Mm-hmm. I hated him back then, but this is what made him famous. 
So انت يا شاده you've had issues with bullying in the past يعني هي ده شغلته البولينج هو هي هي از بولينج هيز بوليز مش انه والله هيك حي الله حدا بحطه براسه ما بعرف الفرق يعني another two few look update as you guys know حكينا عنه من a few months ago انه كيف he has been searching for jobs and no one's accepting him he keeps applying to jobs and everyone's rejecting him وعملت 10 interviews they rejected me after the 10th interview i am tired and he had posts على linkedin كانه this This working professional who advice that young people looking for work never give up. He finally found a job. That motherfucker found a job, and guess where? Shutterstock. Ooh, Shutterstock. Y'all done fucked up. Yo, did you guys not YouTube his name? Right, Tufiluk on YouTube. It will. I don't give a fuck if Tufiluk loses his job because I mean, if I, he doesn't, that guy's a fucking asshole. I don't feel any guilt. Like, Anthony, you're gonna. Maybe he's gonna lose his. I don't care. He's a fucking dick. Shutterstock shouldn't have hired him. Anyways, let's read his. Uh, his uh, post after being hired i was bullied for the way i think i he keeps talking about being bullied bro he's the biggest fucking oh my god bro i was bullied for the way i think i was criticized for voicing up my concerns i was marginalized by recruiters for having an opinion i was rejected for being too loud i was put aside because of my thoughts today i am proud to announce that after countless job applications literally countless motherfucker applied to like 300 companies I am finally part of the Shutterstock team. Fuck you, Shutterstock. I ain't never using you again. Never. You just lost a non-paying customer. <laughs> um, a small recap of my eight months of my eight months job hunt. I have applied to 92 companies. 42 of them rejected me from the beginning. Good on you, motherfuckers. 18 of them rejected me throughout the process. 22 of them I rejected because either the salaries were ridiculous or the culture didn't fit my career goals. 10 of them were still ongoing. My take home message is that you should never hashtag never give up, never hashtag underestimate yourself, never hashtag settle for less, and finally know your hashtag worth. Officially Monday, I will be joining Shutterstock as an SDR consultant. I am extremely excited for this role and I am looking forward in building my career with such an enthusiastic and bright team. He's gonna ruin your motherfucking lives. P.S. I used to voice up my concerns on LinkedIn and countless of recruiters used to advise me to delete my posts because it showed anger. I regret profoundly deleting everything now and I should have trusted myself more. I will try helping and guiding as much as I can young graduates seeking help. My DMs will always be opened. Ask me anything. Look, what an angel. Look, Allah ba'at na yekla to feel you to help our Lebanese youth find work abroad. Wallah, what a hero. Shutterstock, y'all done fucked up. From now on, I'm using Pixabay and Pexels or whoever the fuck's competing with you. Uh, any thoughts on Tufi Luke's newfound employment? Hello, Mabruk. Mabruk. Let's see how long he lasts. Shada, while you and I uh, were doing the documentary together, Samat Nekaza voice notes. Like every day, you get a number of voice notes of young kids. Pretending in a bedroom, cours particulier. Uh, can we listen to a few of these and react to them? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna share them from my phone. So sorry if the audio quality is bad. Well, they, they, they all sound like seven year olds or whatever. <laughs> That's. Hi, Mr. Shada. Um, please, I'm going to take a look at the bench. I'm Armenian. It sounds like she's not even trying to make it sound real, so it's like that's I wouldn't do that kind of prank. And it's a prank. I would at least try to make it sound realistic. The first couple of ones get you to really yeah, think that I'm. That <laughs> Okay, there's two more. Hi, Monsieur Joseph. Monsieur, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 Oh, yeah. Why is a 10 year old talking about daddies and sugar daddies? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Do we play the last one? Play the last one. Hi, Joseph Shada. I know about the Arabic glasses. I know about the Arabic. 
البابي بيدفع لك خمسين دولار عشر دولار حكيني إذا interested I think these are all the same person, bro. They they sound like the same girl. They're all using the same like. Oh, Tamil. Ah, hi, Monsieur Joseph. Please, but the Arabic. Oh, she's like R R. They're all mentioning the fresh dollars. Um, I think it's the same girl, bro. I'm telling you, Ali, kill you. Let me try your number. Have you thought about changing your phone number, having a oh having a personal number, or having a work number? Oh, she. لانه رقمك خلص انتشر يعني there's nothing you can do about it. فكرت غير رقمي بس مش مضطر غير رقمي كرمال حدا. بعدين لا مش it's not the same person بس لانه بلشت في مره نشرت فويس لبنت هيك كانت قايله فريش دولار وهيك فصاروا كلهم يجربوا يقلدوها بركي بنزل لهم اياها على تيك توك وبينشهروا يمكن بهالطريقه او شيء انه لحتى تروح فايرل الفويس تبعهم ما بعرف بس انه الاكثريه هيك للاسف يعني انا بعلم تلاميذ بلشوا معي من وقت 2020 وبعدهم كاملين لهلا وتلاميذ اكثريتهم بالامارات يعني فهيدا الشيء بيعني اني شخص بروفيشنال بشغله و... وعم بشتغل مزبوط بس للاسف من لبنان آه يا بيجيني تلاميذ بياخذوا هيك مره مرتين وهيك او بيكونوا هيك فويسات منهم سيريوس يعني بس هيك جايين يطقوا حنك ماي اوبينيون شوف اخرتها معهم بقى اي ثينك ذيز ار لايك ا جروب اوف جيرل فريندز اند بيكوز ذي سينج ذا اكزاكت سيم شيت لايك ذا 50 دولارز اند ذا دادي اند ذا ماني سو يا Yeah, in my opinion, you girls or you got everyone. You need to get more creative when you're pranking Joseph. Make him believe that it's you're actually interested. At least have the first couple of voice notes and hey, but the talam adept ekhud bessa. Let him actually send you some information. Ana bekhud dizon mid dollar kill kham saat or whatever kill saatain. Then abel ma tbel shul kuch shbeu wahed hek maniak. You know, waste his time a little bit more. But digre digre hey the voice note man. Oh well, he knows it's a prank. That's just my advice for you youngsters out there. Oh, when you're in the rain, you're not getting the phone. Hey. ما حغير شيء بس انه ما له عزه يضيعوا له وقته للشخص بشغله يعني انه هي رزقته لا. للشخص جايين ما عندهم شيء هالصغار هاليوث اللبناني راح المستقبل تبعه خليهم يبصوا ليش من غير بلاد ما في هيك ليه ليه بس بلبنان هيك؟ لبنان مقيد بيعملوا فيك انت هيك لانه انت يور سبيشال كايند اوف تيتشر اني ويز نيكست توبيك Okay, for the final, I think the final main topic, we have a couple more. Maybe we'll talk about them if we got some time. Uh, Elijah, please tell us about Christina Karam, or her name is C Karam on um, Instagram. She's some kind of influencer. She dropped like a whole Jesus video today. It's like five minutes long where she's telling people to love Jesus and stuff and he'll forgive them and he'll keep them from burning in the fires of hell. Who the fuck is this lady? Okay, so basically this woman used to have a show on MTV, it's my hashtag, and she's filthy rich, you can tell by her feed. Who she's married, who her wedding was featured on Vogue Arabia, and you know this bougie lifestyle. She's an influencer and a million and a half follower. Okay. So she has this like her videos are like they have bad comments mostly. What is she known for? Red MTV hashtag. Oh, she's also known for being very homophobic. Oh, come in. Like uh, the LGBT community hater mainly. I basically saw a bunch of Instagram stories reposting this video, being like, "This lady's insane." A bunch of uh, LGBTQ friends of mine sharing this, being like, "Yo, this lady's fucking crazy." Um, um, so I watched the video, and I like it was just kind of insane. So let's watch. This is a five-minute video. It's gonna drive you crazy, but let's watch it together. Let's endure this pain together. Uh, where she's gonna talk about Jesus, I guess. What the fuck? Let's go. Hey guys, how are you? Um, I'm back with a new video. <laughs> and yeah. today I want to talk about God's love. And it's a topic that's very important, at least to me, because I feel that we all need love in our lives and we're always on a quest to find it. And when we do find it, it's often a worldly love, a love from this world. And sometimes it lasts, but mostly it doesn't. So I'm here today to tell you, what if I told you eh? that there's a kind of love that doesn't change, that won't fail you, that's unconditional. Really? Who? What if I told you that someone loves you so much? Who is that, that Christina? That even died for you. Died for me? Yes, Jesus did that for you. Jesus? Why would he do that for me? I don't even know him. I've never met But Jesus. Jesus didn't want you to perish. Let me explain more. Please. Um, all sin them. separates us from God. Hey, the time shopping, but I say, I Jesus loves us so much that He didn't want us to perish. But you would say, I don't sin, I don't harm, I don't kill, 
I'm a good person. Well, the Bible says that we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The glory of whose In God's eyes, a sin is a sin. Mm -hmm. Let me elaborate even more. In 1 Corinthians 6, 9, it's written, do not fool yourselves. I hope for I don't get copyrighted for this fucking music you have in the in background. Those sexual sin, who worship idols, commit adultery, or practice homosexuality, are thieves, greedy people, drunkards, ah. abusive, or cheat people, none of these. She legit just even mentioned practice God. homosexuality. She's going so for the I gays. Now. She's coming for the gays. So examine yourselves. Are you doing one of these things? Examine you yourselves. Are, then Who is God this bitch? Is oh, stop, that's disgusting, bro. I didn't know she was it. fully... I didn't know this was like a homophobic video. For example. Let's say you <laughs> have been <laughs> <summoned> <laughs> to court, Okay, and the judge calls you. And you have to give an account for a crime that you're accused of, that you've committed. If you come and you just tell the judge all of the great and amazing things that you've done in your life, <sighs> would the judge just dismiss your case and let you go? He won't do that because it's irrelevant to the case. It's the same way with God. Also, I want to add that God the hates the gays. That's the how it is. When you're in front of this judge, is if someone comes in and pays your debt. Well, with God, it works the same way. When we sin, we have a debt to pay towards. Bro, Bella Shufa, the hater man. Ma'a Masari, she's rich. Add the bibaita, lips a kill the tieba, merteha. Her her fridge is stocked full of food. The bank account is full of fresh dollars. Oh, herbino, she mahal, brer balad. We had it lecturing us, you know, don't be gay, be thankful, thank you. People want to suck some dick, and their men let them suck some dick. If a woman wants to eat some puss. You got them best let eat her some puss, goddammit. My gay brothers and sisters, I love y'all. Non-binary, they, them. Fuck this lady. I didn't know she was like straight up homosexuality. What the fuck? You know what else is mentioned in the Bible? What? Hello, she has more a screenshot. Lot's daughters <laughs> sleep with their father. That's in the Bible? Yeah. Uh, then the firstborn said to the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man on earth to come into us after the manner on earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and let, let us lie with him, that we may preserve our family through our father. So they made their father drink wine that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father. And he did not know when she lay down or when she arose. On the following day, the firstborn said to the younger, Behold, I lay last night with my father. Let us make him drink wine tonight also. Then you go in and lie with him. That way we may preserve our family through our father. So that's Genesis 19.31 to 35. Lot's daughter sleep with her father. Great. Uh, Christina, what's her last name? Uh, Karam. Karam. You best not be doing that fucking shit. I can say that today. <laughs> Our sentence is guilty and our Bro, the way she's lined up in front of God. The way she's talking is insufferable. But here come, here comes God's love. And he, she's at PC, she's got to figure it out. And guys, God's love? The smile that she gives, God's love? God's love? Yeah, like, oh my God. Done. Jesus was God manifested in the flesh. And Jesus lived as you and I lived. What about my college student fucking loans? He didn't pay those debts. Can he help me with those? I got no money. My family lost all their money. Can he help with those? And Jesus lived as you and I lived. Okay, he was tempted the way we are tempted, but he never gave in to these temptations. He lived a perfect life. But he died a horrible death, a death that you and I deserve for what we've done. But the good news is that he's not dead anymore. He rose up again because nothing, there was nothing against him. So today, God is giving you a chance. You're not watching this video by coincidence. God is calling you for a better life, for a better future. She's God's messenger. So all you have to do, God has already done what should be done. Now it's your it's turn. Your turn. This is a Come sign. Tell him, God, I'm sick and tired of doing these things that I know are wrong, that I know I shouldn't be doing. And I can tell you that there is nothing that you have God. done that is impossible for God to forgive. You're not too far off. For There's him. a minute left of this shit, yo. You might. Uh. She's also kind of hot. She joins the ranks of Anya Alaeddin, Sandra Rizit, and now we got Christina Karam. She's this weird, crazy religious lady, but she's hot, you know what I mean? Like in a weird religious... Shadda, what do you think about this whole thing? I don't know a lot of people in my life. They're definitely 
بيكونوا بشي كالت بشي جمعيه اكثر she seems like she's from a cult so like apparently this lady has like tried multiple like she's tried to position herself as like a humanitarian on instagram as a fashionista so i'm guessing that like the religious the su- super jesus lady uh, hey guys peace and Je- god loves you jesus loves you this is like just her latest stunt kind of like tufi luke tries to rebrand himself kill kill chad hala so i'm a humanitarian hala i'm an anti bully hala i stand for women's rights it sounds like what she's doing she's just traded in the fashionista stuff for a bible and a, and a cross listen lady you're hot Uh, what else can I tell you? Your ideals are... Look, I find religion silly. That's just me. But you're talking about homosexuals and you're an influencer. You have this position of power, man. And yeah, whoever agrees with you, you're disgusting just like you. We also have some comments, uh, some really weird and cringy comments from people who, who agree with her. Uh, Giovanna Vasquez Lombana, not even Lebanese. It is only when the grace of God touches us through his son, Jesus Christ, that we understand everything. A hug. I, that sounded like an Irish person. So forgive me. God bless. So this is Nur Zaghbi Faris. God bless you and your family. It requires deep faith and strength to send such a beautiful message. Yeah, a beautiful message of, of hating gay people. Man, I'm sure beautiful message just because she's saying it with a white background and she's, she's smiling when she says it. Fuck gay people. They're going to burn in the fires of hell. That's not nice, bro. It is much needed, especially for the use in these difficult times. Times. The youths are too gay nowadays, ya Christina. Uh, trust that, whatever. Amen, Lord, my dear God, is bless you. No. Amen, Lord, my dear God, bless you. Beautiful and my God, he is my everything in this world. I can't breathe without him. Jesus Christ, lady or man. Uh, then Jesus, only Jesus. Amazing comments. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to episode 46 of Do Not Worry, a very special episode joined by the one and only Joseph Shada. If you have not seen the Shada documentary, please check it out on my YouTube channel. It's one hour and a half of, of diving deep into this Joseph Shada character. Um, like the video, leave a comment. Uh, There's a couple of topics that we wanted to talk about that honestly, we, we just, today's episode ran a bit long. We wanted to talk about the wooden bakery thing. Their ad was stupid. Uh, it's a stupid ad. Uh, and we wanted to talk about the Netflix top 10. Ain't much time to talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about that next week. Patrons, love you so much. Beautiful, beautiful patrons like the Network LB, Antonio Jmail, Fabian Bumusa. Thank you for joining. And brand new patron, Saad Mneime. Uh, Edward Sfer, who joined us just a couple of weeks ago. Tar Jemo, thank you guys so much. Uh, Daniel Habib, Badsby, Enzo, Jessica Jalu, Rana, Rudolph, Nur Jabour. You guys are awesome. We could not do this without you. We love you. If you want to subscribe to our Patreon, help support this channel financially, help ensure that I can still pay my interns and keep this podcast running. Check the link in the description. Folks, Shada, any any uh, parting words? Shalla ikun uhabbu liyom heke halla podcast <laughs> you look so nervous. It's kind of like adorable how nervous he looks. Wickish way, concern. Oh, shy shada. Look at that little little shy shada. Uh, anyways, folks, Elijah, kilumni, you good? Yeah. Shabiz, boys and girls, do not worry. <laughs>